kid's book about disabilities by Christine Knapper. Hi, my name is Christine. If you could see me right now, you'd see brown hair with a little purple in the front, some dangly earrings, a cozy sweater, and a pretty purple wheelchair. I call her Lydia. That's right, I have a disability. I was born with SMA, which stands for Spinal Muscular Atrophy. It affects my whole body, making my muscles weaker. While I can't stand up and walk around, my chair goes really fast. Sometimes when people see me in my chair, they get uncomfortable. They don't know what to say. They talk to me like I'm stupid. They ask really personal questions. They feel sorry for me. And sometimes they just stare at me with a sad face. Would you like people greeting you this way? Not just once or twice but all the time? Probably not. When they do this, it's not because of my brown eyes or short hair, and it's not because they're having a bad day. It's because I have a disability. Having a disability means you can't do something the way most people do, so you find a different way. And there are even different kinds of disabilities, physical, intellectual, emotional, learning, behavioral, and so many more. I've learned a lot from living with a disability, so I'd like to share some things with you. The first thing to know about people with disabilities is, we are normal. Yep, that's right. We're not scary monsters, space aliens, or sad stories. Normal people come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. Being normal means being different. Having a disability is one of the many ways to be normal. If you understand that disabled people are normal, then you'll have no problem with everything else we're going to talk about. And guess what? Kids, you're usually really good at this. Sorry, grown-ups, you're usually not. Kids are good at being curious and respectful, including and not excluding. Grown-ups are usually just afraid they'll say or do the wrong thing. So if my disability is normal, how do you think I like to be treated? Normal, that's right, treat me normally. You might wonder whether it's okay to help me. The answer is sometimes. There are lots of things I can do on my own, but some things I need help with. I might ask for your help opening a door, reaching something off the floor, or taking the cap off a marker. If you think I might need help, it's okay to ask. I'll either say, yes please, or no thank you. But if I say no, please listen, because forced help really isn't helpful. Another thing, I don't like being stared at. It's just not polite. If you have a question about me, my chair, or my disability, it's okay to ask. Most of the time, it's totally okay. But some questions aren't nice. Some are kind of mean. Questions like, what's wrong with you? Tell me how you use the bathroom. What happened to you? Can you have babies? Try to avoid questions that will make the other person feel bad or embarrassed. So what do you talk about a, to a person who has a disability? Anything. Say, hi, how are you? How's your day going? Ask about what movies I like, where I grew up, or my favorite ice cream flavor. It's cookie dough. I love talking about my disability, but it's not the only thing I wanna talk about. One last thing I want you to know is I am not broken. I don't need to be fixed. In fact, my disability helps me be a wiser, kinder, stronger person. But there's something really important that needs to change. The world. There are places I can't go because nobody built a ramp or elevator. I almost never see people with disabilities like mine on TV, in movies, or in books. I have a job that I love. I'm a teacher but I know lots of disabled people who can't get jobs, even though they want to work. So try to notice when people with disabilities are left out, excluded, or missing. The world needs to be more accessible. People need to be more inclusive. Disabled people belong everywhere. That's what normal looks like.